Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. You might have seen a lot of real time CI CD pipeline videos on YouTube. I have created some other creators also made wonderful real time CI CD pipeline videos and made it available on YouTube. But you might still have a feeling that Abhishek, they are all near real time CI CD pipelines, but not real CI CD pipelines deployed in production by the products. So as someone who is not working as a DevOps engineer or someone who is in the non IT background or as a student, how can I get a feeling of real CI CD pipelines deployed in production? Of course, no company is going to give you that access. Nobody would allow you to look into their CI CD pipelines, but there is a solution. And that is what I'm going to talk in this video. It's very useful. Make sure you watch this video till the end. So the solution is open source. Yes, there are thousands of amazing projects available on GitHub in different programming languages. And all of those projects are set up with CI CD pipelines. Only thing you need to know is how to find those projects. And I'm going to show you in this video. And the fact is that CI CD pipelines set up for open source projects are far better than CI CD pipelines that you have in most of the companies, because when it comes to open source, different people contribute to open source. There can be some bad actors who might try to contribute a bad pull request or a malicious code. So what open source projects do is they create CI CD pipelines. They keep security in the mind. They run end to end test cases on each of the CI CD pipeline. They deploy it and test. So the CI CD pipelines are very robust. At least if you go to a company, you know, people who are contributing to your application, it's a closed source. So you know, the people you have at least some extent of belief or ex at least some extent of trust on the people who are contributing to your code. Whereas in open source, everything has to be very strict. So that's why take a look at CI CD pipelines of open source projects. They are awesome. So let's explore some CI CD pipelines. I'll show you different programming languages, different repositories and walk you through the CI CD pipelines. Let's get started. Let's start with Java. A lot of people might be looking at Java CI CD pipeline videos. So for Java, there is a project called key clock and it's a very popular one. You can see 23.7 K stars and their CI CD pipelines are brilliant. Just go to the dot GitHub folder. Of course, there is one thing here. Mostly you can find open source projects in GitHub and gitlab.com. So you can only explore CI CD pipelines using GitHub actions and GitLab CI pipelines. So go to dot GitHub and go to the workflows folder. And these are all different workflows. What does that mean? If you look at a pull request on this repository, let's take a new pull request. Okay. You can see these are all the different checks that are running on the pull request. It might be a simple pull request, but I can see almost 70 pipelines or even more than that running on one commit on one pull request. So you can imagine how strict are these CI CD pipelines and how much verification is going on, how many tests are running and how it is done. It is running using this workflows folder. So they have a CI.yaml file, for example, this is doing on pull requests and on the push, it is trying to set up Maven arguments. So you can learn in real time how Maven arguments are set up and surefire basically for reports. And you can also see there is concurrency because multiple 
people might push changes at once and these are the jobs so the first thing is to check out the code then you know connect to aurora db then try to build the application then run the unit test after that run the integration test integration tests are nothing but end to end test cases mostly in the cicd pipelines that you see on youtube you might not find this step because integration of end to end test cases is like somewhat tricky and for the demo applications that we create we don't usually write the end to end test cases we only write the unit tests so this is something you might not find on youtube but you can find it very comprehensively on open source projects you can also go and see how the integration tests are written and then adapter integration test that is more integration test more integration test more unit test so these are the different things that are running on each ci cd pipeline or each pull request different actions different workflows not only about building unit testing but if you go to the workflows folder back you can also see the snick which is security scanning you can also see treeb again another security scanning everything that you need to build a devsecops pipeline or a devops pipeline you have in the key clock project basically one of the java projects on github there are hundreds of such projects and there is no special reason for selecting this project just i'm little familiar with this project i have used this project in the past so that's why i just choose this project otherwise there are so many java projects and you can get a feel of different things similarly you can also go to a golang project again something that i am very familiar with argo cd if you go to argo cd's pull request again you can find some 25 30 pull requests ci cd pipelines my bad running on each pull request so you can see the code coverage report here and multiple workflows running on each of the pull request you have snick here you have some licensing test you have the code scanning multiple integration tests again something you cannot find it on demo applications how deployment is done lot of things right code scanning setting the variables if you want to explore the code just go to the dot github folder and within the dot github folder go to the workflows and you have every workflow that you see on the pull request for example you want to learn about how to build a go application and these go go applications are not demo projects right argo cd is a huge go project so you can literally learn how the variables are set you can learn how a huge go project is built using this workflow here again some golang environment variable is set up concurrency is set up permissions and here you have the jobs checking the go modules building the go that is the application verifying the linting testing the application and here you run some end to end test cases also you can find if there is any race condition right probably two different go routines trying to compete is there any race condition or trying to access the same thing is locking maintained in the application and also the code gen analysis where you know you can analyze the test artifacts that are created by the integration tests and run the end to end test cases you can also see how k3s is installed right so to test the application github actions is just a ci you need a platform to deploy right so here you can also see a k3s is set up on the github runner so the github runner is free on the github runner a k3s which is a kubernetes cluster is set up and on this kubernetes cluster the application is deployed and end to end test cases are run so both ci as well as cd 
again there are hundreds of go projects including kubernetes as well right which is a huge project some of you might also be looking at python because python is also very widely used and one popular python project which i am aware of is tensorflow so even for this you can just go to the workflows folder and you can see how workflows or actions written for the python applications you have the osv scanner right how to schedule the osv scanner and how to run that scanning on the python applications you can see how to run the pylint basically before running the pull request checks so you can just run pylint and verify if linting is proper on the pull request that is sent right so same just like we discussed about the java applications and the go applications even here you can find very comprehensive ci cd pipelines you can also go to the pull request and check the logs for example if i go to this pull request there are some actions running and one action failed so why is this failing you can go to the details here right and you can verify the details so you will also be able to answer scenario based questions like a ci cd pipeline is failing for particular reason how did you fix it right you might not get that when you are doing a demo application because everything is a demo environment here people contribute people might have some issues with their code so you can see you can talk about a scenario that a pipeline has failed for particular reason and this is how we fix the pipeline or this is how we help the developer abhishek i want to find for other programming languages how can i do it very simple go to your github search for a programming language of your choice for example node js so just search for node js and you will see projects on node js just scroll down see the stars right and you can understand if the project is popular by looking at the stars pick up one project that you feel is a good one i can see one here load environment variables from dot env for node js projects so let's go to this project and let's see if there are any pull requests so there are 340 pull requests and there are multiple people contributing to this project so it might be a good one of course i am not sure what this project exactly is doing but i can get a feel that okay uh, this project is used by multiple people so let me look at this ci pipeline and i can see here how npm tests are run how code coverage is verified if i don't find it good i can always go back and look at any other project and explore the ci cd process on that particular pipeline i hope you found this video informative let me know in the comment section if you need anything similar to this or if you're finding difficult in understanding the real time setup or real setup i can make multiple videos like this thank you so much see you all in the next one take care bye bye